Chandra Po is the premier place close to Montreal and other urban municipalities to practice winter sports and partake of nature in an absolutely fabulous setting. The park awaits all outdoor enthusiasts with an array of activities that will entertain people of all ages, open sliding, cross-country skiing, ice skating, snowshoeing, winter biking, bird watching, and plenty more. With its sustainable winter program, which is free and diversified, every trip to the park has the potential of being a special and rejuvenating experience. Embrace your northern spirit through a variety of exciting activities and facilities that are second to none. Skating is a great way to exercise, take in some fresh air and have an enjoyable time during the winter season. At Parc Jean Drapeau an ice trail has been laid out so that fans of this activity can do their thing, and it's mere minutes from downtown Montreal. This magical ice path is refrigerated and regularly maintained, thereby ensuring a memorable experience especially after a small snowfall. Come and spend some time open skating, by yourself or with your family, and get a glimpse of the setting sun, as it sinks behind the city's skyscrapers. Dimensions, 3 by 500 meters, 10 by 1,640 feet. Come and hurtle down a Spa 67's natural slope. Children can safely slide, to their heart's content, since the area is free of any obstacles. A trail located at the end of the sliding area enables you to easily and effortless go back up the hill. Bring your sled, toboggan, sliding carpet, foam board or any other wacky way and come over and see this wonderful sight for yourself. You're sure to have loads of fun partaking in an activity that will delight every member of the family. Easiest, fun-filled and accessible sports for every member of the family during the winter months is snowshoeing. Whether you're interested in observing nature and wildlife, enjoying some time outdoors or replenishing your energy levels, snowshoeing is totally tailored to embracing winter in the best possible way. Snowshoes provide a pleasant outing on the trails along the St. Lawrence River or Montpellier. <laughs>
mandated by the United States Information Agency in 1964, Richard Buckminster Fuller, architect, designer, inventor and philosopher, developed the geodesic dome as the structure for the United States Pavilion at Expo 67. The dynamic, freestanding structure is composed of cylindrical steel tubes subdivided into side-by-side -side plastic covered triangles. This concept required a considerably small amount of materials than conventional architectural designs of such magnitude. The biosphere structure reproduces more than 75% of the surface of a sphere and is the largest building of its kind in the world. Fuller's work quickly became a symbol of Expo 67. Donation Once Expo 67 was over, many of the pavilions on the site were dismantled. But the United States Pavilion was donated to the city of Montreal by then you. S. President Lyndon B. Johnson. The city of Montreal officially took possession of the geodesic dome on January 31, 1968. Man and his world. For more than eight years, from 1968 to 1976, the biosphere played host to exhibitions, works of art, theme-based gardens, many bird species, the forerunner of the biodome, and a wide range of activities for the family, even a movie theater. The scientific aspect was also featured with the addition of animated activities on photosynthesis, soil conservation, pollution problems in cities, etc. The 1975 brochure has a line that reads, Una oasis de joie de vivre, a joyful oasis. In 1995, after many years of studies, the City of Montreal finally announced the Biosphere's new vocation, a museum promoting the environment and its protection. Now that's a mission in keeping with the philosophy of the Biosphere's creator, Mr. Fuller. The restoration costs were so expensive that the City of Montreal decided to keep just the tubular structure and completely redo the interior. The renovation project was carried out in collaboration with Environment Canada, which has occupied the premises ever since. Thank you.